and the moves by some Nigerian universities to hike their tuition following the ratification by the federal government of economic policies is not sitting well with Nigerian students as the student wing of the coalition of northern groups have threatened nationwide protests that will shut down all campuses to avert the process. The increment which they say was born out of poorly designed government economic policies will pose danger to the educational development of northern Nigeria. Now, briefing newsmen in Abuja, the students issued demands to all stakeholders to act to checkmate the plan by ensuring an immediate downward review of our institution across the universities. The student wing of the CNG is extremely worried that some insensitive and indifferent authorities of northern Nigerian universities have already announced incredible increments in their tuition. Those in this category are University of Meduguri in the Northeast. MBBS students were paying 49,950 Naira, an increment of over 487% was made as they are now to pay 243,000. Mm. Federal University Duse in the Northwest, computer science students were paying 61,000 but now they are to pay 181,000 with over 296% increment. Mm. Federal University Lafia in the North Central experienced a hike in departmental charges with the MBBS students are to pay close to 200,000 aside tuition fee and other charges. Added to these, is the pervasive harsh economic reality resulting from the removal of electricity subsidy and subsequent hike in electricity tariff worsened by the scarcity of PMS and uncontrolled willful hike in prices of commodity where and when available. The hike in university tuition, if left unchecked, will lead to massive dropouts and return millions of youth in this region back to the streets. New students will have to give up their dreams of acquiring higher education. The students also said that the consequences, if left unchecked, would lead to massive dropouts and return millions of youth in the region back to the streets. Specifically, the northern region is currently being held ransom by bandits that operate with ease and will in all the seven states of the Northwest, taking total control of land borders, highways, forests, and in some cases, railways and airports. We are convinced that this hike and other potential damaging policies are part of a calculated design to continuously weaken the North educationally and popularize it economically. We also warn vice chancellors of universities in the region to avoid the eventual hazard and unseen circumstances by ensuring that no student drops out from the universities as a result of these increases. We appeal to the Northern elite, especially the business community, to please support public university education in their domains. Finally, we place the federal government on notice that if after this decent plea and persuasion, it fails to see reasons, we shall take concrete actions which will not preclude mobilizing for massive and sustained region-wide protests. For the avoidance of doubt, we emphatically place on record that any such protest will be total and shall involve the indefinite shutdown, shutdown of all campuses and the occupation of major highways and state capital across the north. They also called on the federal government to take concrete actions to forestall the protests.